my surf rig. There, bump. Bump. Fish on. Fish on, baby. That subtlety, baby. Ooh, that's a one, baby. Buenos Nachos guys and welcome back to the surf. You know, I'd like to think that we did pretty awesome at the uh, More Than Fishing tournament, but today I am changing gears. I am out here in uh, south of uh, San Francisco here and uh, trying to go after surf halibut. That is one of my goals this year is to get a keeper surf halibut. So um, early action, you know, just working the structure a little bit and trying to get a grasp. It is completely different from perch fishing, striped bass fishing, you know, what have you. But you know what? I tell you what, this is exciting. Uh, I got a shaker, but that's okay. That's what it's all about and learning new skills and really applying what you know to the surf. All right, guys, we'll try to catch a keeper. So, from what I understand, they like to hang out. Not on the bottom of the trough, but like right in those transitions there. So we'll kind of target that area. I put a little bit of scent on there and hopefully I can entice him to come back in. Kind of an unconventional method here so I can, uh, you know, go back and forth between my rigs that if I do decide I want to use a... Uh, you know the battle star of course i will doesn't seem like the water is super clear got a little bit of fog you know some overcast i'm gonna work that that drop off right there you know it seems to be uh seems to be the spot you know feeling at the bot oh right there right there Ooh, they're hanging out right there like I said, dude, that's two hits already. That's two. Like I said, you know, my rig is kind of unconventional right now. You know, I'm not gonna dedicate myself to a drop shot completely, but um, it's just so I can switch back and forth. It's how I like to set up my, uh, my surf rig. There, bump, bump. Fish on, fish on, baby. That subtlety, baby. Ooh, that's a one, baby. That's my surf halibut right there. Fish on, baby. Fish on, baby. That's my surf halibut right there, baby. That's my surf halibut right there, baby. That's my surf halibut. Mike's tackle box, baby. Mike's tackle box, baby. Mike's tackle box, baby. Oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh, I did it, baby. <laughs> I'm shorty, but I don't care. Mike's tackle box, baby. <sighs> I don't even care, dude. 17 inches. Yeah. Let's get a good release. Ah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I apologize. There, when they are shaking, shakers, baby. <laughs> we did it, baby. Hell yeah. Look at that. Look at the patterns on that one. Hell yeah. Bike tackle box, baby. Let's get a release on you. Yeah. Hopefully, you get a sense for some new structure here as I move 
south here on the beach. Oh, there's one. There's one right there, baby. That's a good one right there. Subtle. Mike's tackle box. I don't want to get all nervous. Because they'll run and they'll and they'll take off. You may not be big. But, oh, there it is. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. God, I love the way that these things fight. He's not big, but he has potential to be a keeper. He has potential. Hell yeah. Mike's tackle box, baby. Look at that, baby. And the hook just came out. Holy crap. Right across the back. 18. Whew. Fish number two, baby. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Look at that. It's so awesome. And they smell a certain way, too. That's on the uh, swimming mullet, baby. 18 inches. Woo, hell yeah. That's in release, baby. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Fish on, baby. That's a good one right there. There. Ooh. Ooh. Man, that was a good one. Man. Oh. He had it, too. He had it. Mother. I don't know what ha what happened. He didn't bite the tail or anything. Just he held on to it. I think that's just what it was, is that he held on to it and uh, wasn't I knew that when he didn't he didn't budge. You know what I mean? He had it in his mouth. So we're gonna go with that. There it is. <laughs> Not very big. Huh? Not very big. But that? It's it, it is. Right. Or I might be wrong. <laughs> I might be wrong. He's fighting good. Hopefully it's a keeper. Shorty. He's short. Uh, doormat <laughs> yeah they were glued to the bottom there <laughs> there we go oh he's gonna flop around yep <laughs> as they do yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it's a halibut, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Can you keep it? Uh, not this size, ma'am. Yeah, they have to be 22. Like 22 yeah. Okay. And then, oh, too bad. yeah, I know. I usually get them in, inside the bay. Yeah. But, uh, um, but, oh, all right. Oh, That's going to conclude my uh, session out here on the surf. And uh, I learned a lot today about the drop shot technique. I'm sure I can learn from like tying this way better. And this is the, uh, the five inch uh, gulp mullet there. So I was able to get on them early this morning and, you know, the action itself had tapered off. But, you know, I am in max power mode. I definitely want to buy everything and start adding everything to the cart. You know, I mean, I got majority of the fish, of course, on the, uh, the trifecta. I think that's a, a suitable combo to use for this. And, of course, you know, I've got my flattened weight and that's a one ounce for the, uh, the drop shot setup. I was uh, able to uh, finish the session with the uh, cast master as well, so that also worked out to my favor. All right, guys, that'll do it. I've got so much to uh, learn here on the uh, the surf, on uh, catching the uh, those halibut guys. All right, thank you again, guys, and buenos nachos as always.